thanks Bright Sellers for sponsoring this video. And these are the star of today's show. They are two Australian Wagyu Marbling Score 9. As you can see, the intramuscular fat on these steaks are insane. That lets you already know that these steaks are gonna be incredible. And the first thing to do is to coat them in wine. For that, I set one in a cooling rack so that we don't make a mess. Now let's talk about wine. I chose a red wine. And if this experiment works, you can use any wine you like. As now, the only thing left to do is to give this steak a wine shower. Once the steak was fully covered with the wine, you can see that it drastically changed color. Now to ensure that a little bit of wine penetrates deeply into the meat, I'm going to dry brine this. And to do that, it's very simple. I just throw salt on it so that I can cause osmosis. And if you are unfamiliar with that, let me give you a quick explanation. The salt will draw out some juices from the meat. Then everything will become a nice salty solution. Of course, mixed with the wine. Then the steak will reabsorb everything back into it. And hopefully with some wine flavor. And remember, since I have two steaks, the other one is just going to be the control. There's no wine on it, but I will also be dry brining it. Now that I got both steaks ready to go, the only thing left to do is to let them rest in my refrigerator for 24 hours. That is perfect because it allows me time to go ahead and make an awesome side dish to go along with it. And these look really, really fancy, but they are super inexpensive and most important, super delicious. The first thing to do is to make some ground beef. Here's my take on it. I threw in one and a half pounds of ground beef into the pan, then immediately throw in some onions. Mix everything well and start to cook them. Once fully cooked, throw in salt, freshly ground black pepper, and garlic paste. Mix everything well and combine all of these ingredients together. As now, we're going to be adding flavor on top of flavor. For the first one, I threw in a good amount of tomato paste. Combine everything together and keep your heat high, because one of the things that you're trying to do is to create a font on the bottom of the pan. It is extremely important not to let that burn. And to deglaze it, I like to throw in some red wine. Mix everything together until the pan is completely clean on the bottom. Then throw in some Worcestershire sauce and incorporate everything together. The only thing left to do is to throw in some parsley, mix it one more time, and your extremely flavorful ground beef is done. Now this is not only very cheap, but extremely delicious. Just eating this with some rice is incredible. Talking about that, that is exactly what we're gonna do. But we're gonna take the whole thing to an extreme level. After fully cooking your rice on your rice cooker, let them cool down a little. To make things easier for me, I'm using this mold right here. But if you don't have one, you can just mold it with your hands. You want to pack the rice tightly together with the form because in the end, you should be left with something like this. Now repeat the process until you have a bunch. As now, the next step is to go ahead and deep fry them in duck fat. I'm going all out on this, but if you don't have duck fat, you can use any other type of oil you like. You want to deep fry them until you get a lightly golden brown color. As you can see, once I was done, this is what they look like. A nice crispy crust, but the middle is still nice and soft. Now the next thing to do is to assemble it. Just go nice and slow until you build a layer right on top. As now, we need to go ahead and make a sauce. And for that, it's super easy. Let me show you. Into a bowl, I threw in a little bit of mayo, followed by sriracha, garlic paste, and a little bit of parsley. Mix it well because the next step is to put it into a squeeze tube. And the easiest way to do that is to use a plastic bag. Just throw everything on it, cut out the tip, and squeeze everything into the bottle. In the end, if you want a nice fancy presentation, you should be left with something like this. As you can see, easily allowed you to make miniature dots. Now this thing looks really fancy. And I'll tell you one thing, it costs almost nothing. You can make a huge batch of this with only 10 bucks. And I think it's gonna be the perfect side dish to go along with our steaks. Talking about that, after 24 hours, take a look at this. We got the wine steak on the left and our regular steak on the right. Notice that there's no sign of salt anymore. Only a little bit on top of the fat. And that's because fat does not absorb the salt. There's only one thing missing on these steaks. And that's a good amount of fresh freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Because now the only thing left to do is to cook them. For that, I'll first be putting a nice sear in all of them. To create additional flavor, I'll be basting them with butter. Then I'll be cooking them in indirect heat with my wireless thermometers. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill them. So let's do it.
Before we go ahead and try this incredible steaks, I want to thank the amazing sponsor of today's video, Brad Sellers. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I include wine in a lot of my recipes and experiments. And with my Bright Sellers subscription, they just make my wine buying experience a personalized one where I discover new wines I love. It's easy. All you have to do is take the quiz and the algorithm matches you with the wines you are guaranteed to like based on your taste profile. They ship directly to your door and the more you rate and give feedback on your wines, the better your match will get. And don't worry, if you don't love one of your wines, they will simply replace it in the next box. Look how cool this is. Each personalized wine comes with an educational card with pairing suggestion and general wine information. Oh, and they now offer more sustainable wines than ever. With Bright Sellers membership, you get to enjoy virtual wine tasting, referral program discount, premium wine discount, and flexible membership where you can just skip a month if you want to. With this link, my viewers will get 50% off their first six bottle box. Plus the bonus bottle where the 50 customers will get a free corkscrew. Thank you, Bright Seller, for sponsoring this video. But now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful steaks, Mama. We yeah. have the steaks are looking beautiful, but that's looking interesting. You like there. my little cupcake, Mama? What is that? <laughs> Little cupcake made out of meat, everybody. That's basically what it is. That's I gotta a, be honest with you. It's a meat cake? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So I made a little appetizer, you know, because obviously this is not gonna be enough. And as you can see, I made it quite a bit for the family to try everybody. We always share our food to everyone. So uh, you wanna try this first? And yeah, uh, I wanna go. know your opinion. Tell me how you like just it. Just grab it with the hand. Just grab it with your hand and then just bite on it and let me know. So basically, Mama, what this is, is crispy rice fried in duck fat. <laughs> Yeah, fancy. fancy. Yeah, no, no, fancy all oh, okay, the sorry, way. Sorry, here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Put your pinky up, you better. And then we got a little bit of ground beef with some spicy mayo. Enough oh, talking. Okay. Ready for it? Let's go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> wow. So easy to make. Man. And so good. That's a whole mini meal on your hand. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like a little hamburger or a meal, like you said. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is amazing. Mm. Mm. I can see this being served on like a fancy party for real. Yeah, no, for real. It's a hefty appetizer, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's gonna fill you up before you can tell. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And mm. as you saw it, super cheap to make. You don't have to use the duck fat if you don't want to. Right? Use any other regular fat. Obviously, the duck fat is gonna give you something extra, but highly recommend. So here's the deal, Mama. We got two beautiful steaks, as you can see. Mm -hmm. They are wagyu, so I don't want you to like, have a heart attack when you eat them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. Yeah, because they're going to be amazing. And uh, we're just doing a simple experiment. I want to know if it's better or worse. Okay. We'll, this one yeah, first. we'll start with this one here, and we'll move on to the second one right here. Ready for it? Let's go. Let's go. Very first one. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It, how can I describe this? Mm. It's like one of the most perfect steaks there is because it's a good ratio of fat and together meat. with meat. Exactly. And mm -hmm. the smokiness from the grill. Yes, up here. Oh, <laughs> that little charcoal definitely produces an amazing flavor into your steak, everybody. Charcoal will always make it better. Amazing. Amazing, right? Amazing. <laughs> yeah, you can't add much more to that. That's not incredible. I agree 100%. There's not much to say. But now I want to try the experimental steak. You ready? All right. Okay. I want to know if you can tell what it is, Mama. You now ready? I'm scared. No, no, it's nothing bad. Because this one was so incredible. That one, <laughs> it's going to be hard to surpass. I know, right? No, it's nothing bad. It should be something good. Well, again, you never know with Google. Sometimes they go crazy. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Enough talking. Let's try this one. Cheers, Cheers everybody. It's mm. different. Yeah. And it's not bad, Mama. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> mama was like, oh my God, this thing's going to be so bad. I want to no. throw it out. <laughs> I was wrong. No. It's not bad. It's different, though. D very different, yeah. Mm. Ooh. I'll tell you one thing. I enjoy that. There's a, I got a little hint of something extra in the end. Yes. Like, towards the end of the bite, basically, mm -hmm. it's very mild. When it's the, nothing crazy. When the flavor is almost leaving your mouth, yeah. you get hit with something else left behind. Mm-hmm. Can you tell what it is? What is that? You put some alcohol here? Put some alcohol in there, Mama. You got it. You absolutely got it. Give me a pound. Don't leave me hanging, Mama. Mm. <laughs> Definitely put some alcohol in there. Mm. Wine. Just a mm. little bit of wine. Okay. 24 hours aged wine steak. Wow. It, it's extremely pleasant taste. Mm -hmm. Very different than the other steak right here. Very mild as well. 
nothing crazy like it's gonna make the steak bad go ahead mama what do you think if anything it kind of toned down a little bit of the fat of the richness of the of the original one so it does make the steak a little bit more enjoyable yeah because uh sometimes if you chug it down by yourself it's going to be a little bit overwhelming because yeah. it's quite a bit of fat it has a nice flavor of wine but you can barely tell that it's wine like my mom mm -hmm. knew what it was alcohol but he was not sure what type it was but it's a very mild flavor because we only did it 24 hours i also didn't soak on it it was just basically a little brushing based on it you know oh, what i mean okay okay so no yeah. soaking or anything like that just a little nice brush based i quite enjoyed this quite a bit everybody yeah, definitely do not let this sit on wine overnight no 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 that's gonna be way too much just believe it or not putting a very small amount mm -hmm. and then seasoning the salt on top so that it penetrates yeah does the job if you want to try something different a different flavor on your steak this one is good not bad whatsoever obviously it's very different from the control steak and something different that you can definitely try it at home to see if you're gonna like it mm, it works it works yes it's not gonna be bad anyway guys these are the results i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do enjoy it make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're not a subscriber be sure to subscribe for future videos remember if you are interested in anything i use everything is always in the description down below thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one take care everybody bye bye Danny, I don't want to do this. Oh, you like my uh, uh, cupcake? I love your cupcake. Uh <laughs> <laughs>